that the most valuable co uh, commodity that you have in your life is the time that you have because you only have a certain amount. So do you guys feel like you were ever robbed with time with the other person? Well, I, I know from Sandra's point of view, um, I was all, it was always a complaint of hers that um, I was always out working. Um, and the other thing was, Every time I was working, I was um, coming home late, and uh, then Probably the week had gone by, exhausted, mm. and she said, well, you know, I want to talk to you, I want to, and I was in no mood to talk, and I was no mood to chat. Because yeah, you were tired. Yeah. Because I, I find that also, uh, when I go, when I come home, Larry's been working here, and he's been all on his own all day now I come home I've done a busy day I'm I've actually been wound up to the nines for that whole day now, and I come home I unwind and mm. I don't want to talk mm. yeah. and eventually you, you know I'll, I'll literally my eyes will just shut and that will be that yeah. Yeah. I would say for me the working and the commute, commute, commuting uh, for both of us um, first time when we were first married that would have been the thing. Sometimes I'd say in a week we've probably only seen each other uh, an hour, <laughs> and you know, so it felt. Yeah. So it felt. Yeah. And if you think, because you start, for, you know, it's commuting in the morning. Your hours at work, and me too, because I was working full time. And then you come home, and then I'd be cooking dinner. And by the time you sit down and you have dinner, there, there's just that one hour in that day that you've seen each other. And over a week, you probably said, oh, well, you know, we got married to each other to be together forever. Mm. And, you know, we've probably just spent five hours this week together. Mm. And then weekends, you're fitting in, seeing family, seeing friends, and then, then just, you know, just maybe doing the shopping together or things like that. So then, you know, uh, the time, your time... Uh, for me, was okay. taken up with. Benzer and Sandra really do have a story to tell, having been married for nine years, then divorced for five and a half years, and remarried. Let next week, Judy and I are going to speak about how we make a list of priorities in order to get the most out of our time so that we aren't robbed of time with each other. God bless and see you then. Mm -hmm.